So in the previous videos, I have shown uh, how to do the best of method using the Excel solver provided by the uh, founder of the method, Professor Jeff Rezai. In the Excel solver template, you will have some introduction. Then you have the example. In the first video, we discussed the example. So if you if you don't know how it works, have a look on the our first video on BWM. And then for three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, nine criteria, there are different. Excel sheets to be used for that. But if you have more than nine criteria, then here are some guidelines. One idea is that you group them under different clusters, okay? So you group all the criteria under different clusters and even, even it doesn't matter, uh, it doesn't have to be like more than nine criteria. Sometimes it could be that you have nine criteria, but you have, you have the nine criteria under three clusters, okay? So it could be like that as well. I will show you an example soon. So in this video, the idea is to show you how to do BWM when we have some criteria and then some sub criteria under each of the criteria. Okay, so how to do the analysis at that time. Let's say you have three criteria and each of them has three sub criteria. Then actually you will not need these four to nine. You will not need these sheets. You will need only the three one. So at first you have to do this for the three criteria, okay? But then what I will do is I will go and move a copy and then I'll create a copy in the end and I will just duplicate. I will just duplicate the three criteria one, three more times because all my sub criteria, because all my criteria have three sub criteria each. If one of my criteria have, a, have four sub criteria, then I will use maybe this one, okay? One with the four and I will hide the rest of them. Okay, I will not need the other sheets. I will hide them or delete them, something like that. Okay. So let's say I have three criteria and one of my one of my criteria has three sub criteria. Okay, so I will just rename it something. I will just rename it and call it something like, let's say I'll, I call it sub one. Okay. So three criteria, sub one, and then this one I will call it, uh, let's say this is with four sub criteria, but this is sub two. And then maybe my other criteria has also three sub, sub criteria. Okay, so I will then create again a module like this. Just repli replicate the three criteria one, but now I will call it sub, I will call it uh, sub three. So just to show you how our model actually looks like. So we have like three criteria, okay? And under three criteria here, this criteria has three sub criteria, okay? This has four sub criteria, and this again has three sub criteria. So this is our criteria level, and this is our sub criteria level. So that's our that's how our multi criteria decision making model looks like, and in case if you have some alternatives, you know, so then we can let's say we have three alternatives. So now the decision making process is that you know we consider all the sub criteria for our each of the alternatives. So that's how we will do the analysis. Okay, please excuse my drawing here; it's not very good, but I hope you understand the logic, right? But now I'm going to show you one of the filled or completed surveys uh, where, where we have few uh, few criteria and their sub criterias. 